welcome to this video in which I will prepare an image from a storyboard for animation in After Effects. This is the storyboard image and it was scanned in and saved as a GIF image. First thing I'll do is crop it to the right size using the crop tool. You'll see that it's not scanned in quite straight but that's no big deal. I'm going to just remove the border so it will look straight. That's that one. It's a GIF image, which is an indexed color image format. Not the best one for image manipulation. So next I'm going to change the mode over to RGB color. I could use grayscale because there's no color, but I'm going to use RGB just for consistency. Next thing I need to do is to get the right image size. I want to work in half HD, 1280 by 720 for this animatic. So I'm going to s increase the image size to be 1280 by whatever the height is, as long as it's lower than 720. So I don't lose anything. If it were higher, then I would probably make the, width, the height 720 and later adjust the width. OK, we're way too big for this screen. So I'm going to uh, zoom out one step and then to set the height I'm going to go to canvas site and simply type in 720 for the height the background is site is set to white so it will extend with a white border a little white border there you'll see that the image is not quite sharp there's all kinds of artifacts from the scaling up and from the scanning in um, but if we just go to image adjustments levels we don't really need all this paper texture and all the detail so we can just make everything that's sort of white completely white by lowering the white input and everything that's sort of black completely black by increasing the black input which will get rid of a lot of that those ugly artifacts next step is to separate out the foreground and the background. I'm going to my layers and I'm going to duplicate this layer and the the copy will be my train. I'm going to turn the copy off. I'm going to go to the background and now I'll simply paint out the train in this image. So I'll get my brush tool, make sure I'm on white and taking a rather large brush I'm just going to erase the train from this image and I could do it neater but I'm gonna go do it just roughly and fast so we don't lose too much time there we go mm. okay I also want to get rid of the border There we go. Now, there's a hole where the train used to be, and not all the lines are going all the way up to the edge of the screen. So next step is to take a smaller brush, right size for that, make it black, and fill in the missing details. And you can do this as neatly as you want, but I'm just going to go very rough that's way too thick so I'm going to increase, decrease my brush size and just go what well, there's my train station tracks going in so I've got my background separated out now on my layers I have the entire image still over here I'm just going to turn off the background I want my train separate now I could start erasing stuff but if I erased too much I had no way of getting it back so I like to work with image masks and I'm simply going to make sure it's on contiguous select the background uh, the white in the background go to my layer image and make a mask for that layer unfortunately it's reversed but control I inverses the uh, mask and with the mask selected I can now with a big black brush let's go big 
just simply erase everything that's not part of the train. There we go, very roughly. But this is how we would go about doing that. There we go. Now, the big advantage of using layer masks is if I painted it and I had painted too much away, I can simply paint with a white brush and paint everything back that I just accidentally erased. So I've got my train now separate from my background, which means that in After Effects I can now start moving it about. I want this foreground element on top of everything, so I'm just going to select it, copy it, and paste it. And since I still have everything selected, it ended up in the exact right spot. I just need to get rid of a little bit of white on top of that line. So I'm going to magic wand, select that top portion, and again, create a layer mask, which again is reverse. So control I inverses the layer masks mask. And now I have it. This is my foreground. I'll put that above the train. And I have all my elements separated out and I can now happily Go to After Effects and move the train into the station and also scale it up.